time, it's legit. Uh, the stage has probably already been decided. Yeah, it's kind of sad to see these two play because I do know for a fact that Mundo and Skipper are friends. And they yeah, and here we go. Like each other a lot. Game one, uh, Wario versus Mario. The, build up the, nephew, uh, the nephew battle, I guess. Mundo, Mundo always with these tags. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, Mundo on the platform. And for Wario being on the platform, it's not that big of a deal. Because he has this great aerial mobility, so he can just stay in the air. He doesn't want to be on the ground against most characters. Uh, I guess Mario who gets away with it pretty well, because uh, Mario, except for his trap, doesn't really have too many traveling tra tra ground moves. Mm -hmm. uh, in my opinion, most of what he gets is what he gets out of the trap. Uh, so you want to avoid that grab. And other than that, Wario can combat his ground game pretty well. Uh, I still think that Wario in the air is preferred, though. All this damage coming out from Mario right there. Wow, the anticipation on the jump of the bike. Got the upper. Wow. He just goes for that fourth man. Oh, that's that scary. You don't want to be there. Now Mundo has a safety throw, misses the punish, and Skipper with the Nair getting out of situation. Yeah, and trying to read that roll in, but Mundo uh, wise enough to not do that. Yeah, that's the second time he went for that four smash three. The second time he didn't get it. Uh -huh. But if he does get it, it's a kill at like 70. Yeah, but this upper is looking to clean it up uh, either way. Yeah. Got the flood to get more station for all of that position. And Mundo didn't really have stage positioning to begin with. I'm trying to blow him off stage with that. Ooh, the grab. Yep, the spot dodge. Yeah. Double spot dodge into get thrown off stage. Yep, that will be the stock for Rapid Mundo, and now Skipper with a lead, only 65% added to him, but we notice it's Wario, and that fart can kill ridiculously. Yeah, of course, and uh, usually, uh, versus almost any other character, you would just hang back being Mario, but with Wario, you don't want to give him his full roaming range. This, this ledge pressure with the bike, Mundo just waiting on the ledge, but that was still small pressure by Skipper. Skipper, not Skipper. Skipper using the bike in mm -hmm. his advantage. <laughs> I'm always confused. People out here stealing tags. <laughs> yeah. Why do people steal tags, man? Would you <laughs> imagine if there would be a player named Racket Munder? <laughs> Racket Munder, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to name myself that. Racket yeah. Munder. <laughs> That's my new tag. Right. It's done. Gets a back of great leg pressure from a skipper right here. Wow, the nerf. Mm. Mundo trying to get that bite, but Skipper just being patient, using his mid air jump as a mix up tool on the timing right there. Wow, tries to go for that shield grab, but Mundo just not hitting his shield. Yeah, That's Mu <laughs> Mundo is super evasive at this point, but it's not working out all too great for him. No, not just yet. He's gonna need a bit more percent for that to work. Well, the thing is, if you. Um, wow, the cape. <laughs> wow. <laughs> if you are playing passive, that means you're having less interactions. Uh huh. Oh my god, that's No down way! Air. That's new Mario meta, man! I mean, it kills at 70, so that's a force smash. Yeah. Uh, but as I was saying, if you play passively and force less interactions, your opponent is going to do less damage. But you're also going to do less damage yeah, I know. to him. So yeah. it's kind of a kind of a decision that you have to make. Do I want to prevent taking damage or do I want to deal damage? Which which is more important right now? Mm -hmm. And often when you are at danger of getting killed. You want to avoid getting hit, because when you have high percent, you get knocked away further, mm -hmm. which gives your opponent stage control immediately. Um, at the same time, if your opponent has a stock lead and you have low percent, do you really want to play too passive though? Because you have to get that stock. Yeah, that's always the consideration you have yeah. to make. Yeah, and it, it's a hard consideration. I, th I think you feel it on... A, a good player feels it on the way the, the match progresses. Yeah, it's kind of a pacing of, of, of game and, and players just decide the pace, but sometimes you kind of have to go with it, yeah. I guess you could say. Uh, and yeah, because match dependent. I remember Dumbfire being on stream earlier today. Uh, he got the lead versus, who was it? I can't remember. It doesn't, uh, doesn't, um, it doesn't matter. matter all that much. But he had the lead, which uh, he started playing, you know, hanging back passively, which didn't work out for him. And then even with the lead, he approached more, yeah. and that worked out for him. Yeah, so don't always yeah. hang back when you have the, uh, when you have the lead, because yeah. when you're feeling it, just go in. Yeah, a lot of people, when they get a lead, which is significant enough... Oh, uh, unfortunately that's Mundo. a shame. Um, but if you have a lead, 
what people will do is like, oh, I have a lead, now I can play defensive and force my opponent to approach. But you've got to wonder why you got that lead in the first place. If you got that lead because you put too much pressure on your opponent and your opponent couldn't handle it, then why would you stop putting that uh -huh. pressure on him, right? So that, that's the consideration. You don't always want to hang back when you have a lead. Sometimes yeah. it's better just force positions where you have the advantage because your opponent can just not deal with it. Yeah, and here's the thing. Okay, so Mundo lost his uh, first stock to an unfortunate SD, but remember this. Mundo playing from behind is scary. We've seen those clips. We, we know what he can do when he has to perform. You know what I have with Mundo? I just feel like he isn't really necessarily scared of anything. Yeah. He's like, oh, I have Fart, I'm Wario, I can do stuff. Mm -hmm. And my opponent feels more pressure than I do right here, so I can just play Goofy. There you have it. That's the forest smash. There you have it. And he still has the waft, so, you know. Mundo truly shines when he has to, you know, really perform. Yeah, and I feel like people that are in the lead and play against Wario with waft usually have more pressure put on them because they are like, oh, I have the lead. I cannot lose to the fart right now. I would throw away this game while well, Wario's like, I have nothing to lose anymore anyway. Because I'm, st I'm I'm standing at losing this game, mm -hmm. so better just go for it right now because I can't lose more than this. There's the fart. Skipper having no yeah, damage. But ever since he got that uh, stock off, he hasn't been able to get one single hit in. That's 7%. That's not enough to get the kill, though. Ooh, goes for the Nair to get the recovery high. But Mundo going to the ledge immediately, goes for the bike on the ledge, that's pressure for Skipper. This is rage though, this Mundo doesn't matter, mind this. At this point, damage doesn't matter for him. That's Man, you, you see, you see, you know this, uh, this is the best of... I think this is not, this is not top 5, right? This is best of 5. This is best, this of, five. Is best of 5, yeah. Okay. And you see, you see Mario in the Wario outfit, he basically stole his identity. He <laughs> murdered him. Put on his outfit and said, I'm Wario now. <laughs> yeah, I'm stealing your <laughs> <laughs> Mario's gonna do wah, wah, wah. <laughs> wah yeah, exactly. No, it's gonna be ma, ma, ma. <laughs> <laughs> ma, ma. Horrible, ma, ma. horrible. Uh, we and our funny jokes, man. <laughs> anyway, game three going to start. Skipper up 2 all right here. Uh, Mundo has to figure something out. Goes for the bite immediately, gets at 7%. Uh, Wario not. That character that has the most importance in the percentage that the opponent has. Um, oh, he went for something dirty, but <laughs> gets escaped back. Okay, he was lucky right there. Well, I mean, Wario's so confident. Getting, gimping that, yep. good luck, man. Good luck. That's when your shenanigans backfire right there. Yep. That's not hard work against me. I've been playing you for <laughs> way too many games. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Skipper again with the lead right here. Having the center stage, not necessarily... Forcing too much, just waiting, being like, I have center stage, I can wait for you, and I have the lead in percentage, so do mm. whatever you want. These I'm are some tasty strings by uh, coming out from Skipper. Wow. Good Yo, good. he went for it all. That yeah. would not have killed, I think. Um, nah, probably not. With this, with this percentage on Mario himself, no yeah. rage. Uh, at the same time, though, going for that option, kind of risky. Uh, sometimes your opponents do not expect it at all. He didn't yeah. get punished for it, so... But the risk-reward, in my opinion, was not worth it. Uh, yeah, in this case he got away with it, but he has the lead, so he doesn't have to go for risky moves, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would say that opponents don't expect you to go for that in this mm. position. And I like this pressure from Mundo, using the bike and waiting... And even waiting for the shield to come out to get that grab. Good stuff. I almost thought that he was going to SD again, yeah. but... Nope, not yet. Skipper with his great positioning right here, has the advantage. Mundo on the ledge, goes for the jump read, doesn't get it. Or that was a reverse off smash, one of the two. Going for a jump read with a 4 there. Kind of a hard read, but... Oh, gets good bite. On the regular getup. Wow. Oh, I don't think he has a jump. That's nope, tough. not at all. He did, yeah, he took the jump. I knew that. He's gone. So Mundo with the lead, first time in the set. Yeah, I was just about to say that. <laughs> we can feel each other, man. <laughs> we know each other. Let, let's see if he can get anything off of it. Because Skipper will probably will be fiending with those up smashes right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know, I was talking about Super Semi, not being, uh, you know, wants to spam it. Skipper has no shame at all. He doesn't care. When you're a kill percent and he's down, those those yeehaws are coming out. This man has some serious ne neck muscles, man. <laughs> it's like, kind of abnormal. I'm not sure how he trains those, but... Going to metal concerts. Yeah, going to metal concerts. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Mario does in his spare time. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Not only Mario, there are a lot of Smash characters that do that. Yeah. 
And right now we see all this pressure. Mundo landing safely, using the bike to get the pressure released from him. Oh, that forward air didn't get punished. Trace facing. Oh, that was a punish from Mundo on the back air. Mm. Doesn't land the, uh, the, the upper right there, gets punished on the back air. And all these Marios, man, are looking for those air dodges. They want to they wanna play dirty. That is the second time that they trade, that they both use Nair and Mario's Nair just straight up wins. Goes for a grab, but the Flood pushing him a bit too far away for that grab follow-up. Goes for the bike. Ooh. Ooh. Did you smell the, did you smell the waft? I, I, smell. I could smell it, dude. Oh, and there it is. You know, uh, you know that uh, sound is uh, delayed uh, after, after sound it travels yeah. slower than light. Yep. Smell f travels quicker than light, apparently, because we could smell that waft, but uh, <laughs> the animation came out a second later. <laughs> Video game logic. <laughs> exactly. Video game logic. <laughs> Mario was like, what's that smell? <laughs> and he was out of the stage. And he I can't out. smell the future. <laughs> he flew out of the stage and was oh, that's what it was. <laughs> that was. That's what it was. Now I know. Okay, so Mundo still in it, even though he's still down uh, one game. Yeah, um, and I predict that it will go to a stage of platforms. I think uh, Skipper will choose a stage like Battlefield because his extension of combos are yeah. extremely ridiculous. And uh, uh, Wario has a, a lot less space to, to roam around. Yeah, exactly. Here yeah. we go, Battlefield. Yep, as we predicted. We, are, we have the future side ability. Indeed. We are the mutants in the match, man. <laughs> Right now we see Mundo immediately going to the platform using the vertical space to stay away from Mario. Goes for the up smash already. He doesn't care, goes for the up B. You know, I, I, I remember back in the day when Skipper didn't do that up B at all out of situations. Mm -hmm. And then with Diddy Kong, you could just down tilt him five times in a row and go for <laughs> a draft. And then when they find out that you can just up B it, it's like way harder to uh, The, the matchup is completely different. Yep. <laughs> Goodbye free pressure. I mean, it's somewhat of a risk, Ooh. but if you have to keep that option in mind, that's so much pressure that you just have to give up that way because of Mario's ability. Wow, that's what we talked about. Man. Try to get the grab again. This isn't a discussion. These are just monologues after each other. Yep. I mean, these two guys have played so much at this point. They, it's more like player versus player than really the mm -hmm. matchup, if anything, and this matchup is pretty even, so then it matters even more. Like if you play a matchup and you play player versus player based because you have played each other too much and the matchup is in favor of one of the two characters and the players are equally skilled, you see the matchup switch swifting towards a character that has the matchup advantage. But in a matchup like this, that doesn't really happen. And we see Muno again just retaliating on the platform. <laughs> <laughs> Skipper, oh just, my God. Skipper just expecting him to get out of the situation. Yeah. Maybe expecting a bit more platform capping, but he just uh, went down and did it. Got the job done. He just pooped on his face. Yeah, you know, when nature calls. <laughs> I just I had to let it go. <laughs> Gets the bite right there. This ledge press from Racket Mundo. Oh, Skipper getting into the center stage with that neutral air. The aerial approach on the top of Racket Mundo's shield. Goes for the bite. Doesn't get it, the spot dodge by Skipper being aware of that situation goes for the up smash. Thought that he was going to get and run on the platform again. Ooh, good bike usage, but still gets punished, but not too hard. I mean, he has a stock lead, so he doesn't care about the damage as long as he stays alive. Yeah, fair enough. It's rage, I mean, if he gets a far, that's uh, done, so. If he gets a half charge waft, you know, out of, a, out of the blue. Ooh, rolls into mm. that up smash a little bit. Too happy about that roll there. Gets punished. And will Mundo get the juggle? No, actually mm. loses the center What stage. are these up airs? Well, he tries to get the, a read on the landing get there, but he retaliated back to the ledge, which gave Skipper all the space to just run up the center stage. Because if you space the move in a way that you in the air, like for example, you do a retreating floor there, mm -hmm. your opponent can have used that opportunity to just walk up to you and claim the space that you just retaliated. Right, oh, oh, this is bad news. Manages to get out only to end up in another up air string. That's up air, up B? No, he manages to escape the second up air. If that would have connected, that would have been fine. Yeah, that would have been uh, the end. Uh, Skipper, please, uh, calm down, man. Uh, you know, we can talk about this about... And Bruh. just as I said that, I crossed <laughs> <laughs> Mundo 
calm down, man. I mean, we can talk about this. And this is the, you know, remember after game two, Mundo already got up to shake Skipper's hand. Yeah, like, he was like, good job, man. I'm out of the tourney. But no, someone went up there and said, Mundo, it's best of five. And, and that's the power of best of five. That's the power of best of five. You got the ability to poop on him a few times. <laughs> and now it's even two to two. And it's game five. Skipper's Exciting Mario. stuff. Skipper's Wario, I'm sorry. Against Wreck-It Mundo's Wario. Yeah. Like, don't, don't, don't believe the hat, man. It says that it, there's an M on it, but that's supposed to be a W. <laughs> it's just switch around. Yeah, you know you're playing the winning character when there's a w, w on your cap. Yeah, it's just like, I win, you know? Yeah, exactly. It's done. And Mundo knows that. That's why he plays Wario. He's like, I got the W, man. So all you Luigi mains? It's, uh, gotta take that it's L. A, it's a tough life, yeah. Gotta take that L. All right, all right. So, coming from the depths, uh, game five for Mundo versus Skipper. Yeah, this is going to be on Smashville, which is actually a very strong stage for Mario, believe it or not. Oh, and that weak backer confirmed into that grab. Yeah, I mean Mario's aerials, all of them actually connected and to grabs and into stuff. It's ridiculous. Mario, man, I'd say best grab game in the uh, grab game in the whole of Smash Four. Um, it's insane. It's really. Is it the best? Though? What doesn't he get from grabs? Yeah, true that. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. But this, this it, it, it's super crap for Wii U, you know, so it's kind of hard to decide. Yeah, <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> Let's continue. We uh, can leave theory crafting for a uh, later uh, time because what we have here is uh, Mundo uh, fighting back. Pure practical stuff right here. <laughs> Who goes for that bike right there? Trying to extend that hitbox or her, yeah, the hitbox, but instead. Ooh, ooh, the up smash. I, I saw you, Skipper. You tried to, to do him dirty like that. I saw you. Yeah, he's gonna try a couple of more times. He's gonna try to get that Nair into up smash. Doing the fox, you know. <laughs> Did you just see that? I, I saw that, and uh, myself, I, I saw it coming. But Mundo, you know, the, the charge cancel into the up smash. That uh, flood charge cancel is super quick. So I'm Mundo should have been ready for that. I was about to say his next move is going to be an up smash. Yeah. Now watch. That that flood charging is a bait. <laughs> I was about to say, can you guess what his next move is going to be? <laughs> Come on, try to guess. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Skipper, train those muscles. Get that strong, uh, in Dutch we call it Stierenek. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, because in the last game, both stocks were taken by Waft, so... Uh, skipper, Skipper, we'll have to be super careful. Oh, you know, just run in and grab. We just run in, Mundo predicting a hitbox, so he shielded, but that was not the plan, Udi! Oh. <laughs> well, if you jump too much against Mario, you know what happens. Yeah, and for basically, uh, unless Mundo gets some crazy setup, uh, Mario is safe for the next uh, 30 to, to 50 percent. You know, I've, I, I've said this more often, if, if, if Mundo is able to kill somebody in a tournament set with that wheelie, I'm going to give him a drink. Yeah. <laughs> and then he does it all the time, and I'm like, bruh, don't do this to my wallet. You're gonna milk me dry. <laughs> Mundo playing patient, I mean, the percentage on him doesn't really matter, he gets a 4 tilt. Wants to keep him off stage and wants to kill him without using the fart because then he can use it on the next. Yeah, of oh. course, of course. It's kind of a waste on a Mario with 140. He's going to keep that bike. He's going, oh, he's not even going to throw it on it. Oh, but Mundo delayed it. Great four tilt. Angling okay. it up. And this is down to the wire. Mundo at 41, which was uh, until a second ago 42. Thank you, bike. I mean, that percentage for Mundo doesn't really matter as long as he keeps the. No, 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 no. I mean, Mario dies at 30 anyway, so who cares? Yo. It's even game. But Skipper is uh, shifting gears. Oh, and shifting back. Ooh, now he's slowing down. That force smash was a great option, actually, because he could have gotten a lot of approaches with that. But Mundo choosing the one right approach with the use there. Ooh, the bike. Becker. <gasps> oh, yeah, he jumped right into that. D hide into that fair. <laughs> he was not ready for. Skipper uh, uh, putting it out there. But anyway, good stuff to both players.